Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome, welcome. So we are in Blender once again, and today we're going to do another beginner tutorial, and we're going to model a simple table. All right. Well, that said, here we go. We can actually use our default cube, but we're going to grab the camera, get rid of it, and grab the light and get rid of it. Just select and hit delete. And then we're going to take this guy as our base shape, and we're going to stretch that out. Stretch out in this direction as well. And we're going to lower the thickness somewhat and stretch it a little bit further. All right. Now, what we want to do here is we want to uh, bevel the edges. So we're going to hit the tab key. We're going to go to edit mode. My tab key didn't respond for some reason. Don't know why. Anyway, we're going to click one. We're going to hold down uh, alt and click two. Uh, not alt, sorry, shift, one, two, three, and number four. There you go. And we're going to go to bevel. We're going to create a slight bevel there, something like this. And the reason why will become apparent as we move further. Uh, let's not do a double bevel. Let's just leave it at that. All right, here we go. And what we're going to do with this guy is we're going to duplicate it. Okay, so we're going to go back to object mode. We have it selected. We're going to control uh, C and then control V. And then we're going to hit W and uh, not W. Sorry, I'm so used to doing that in Maya, right? We're going to hit the uh, G for grab. Let's move that, let's say to about here. Let's have a look at the overall size. That seems to be all right. Okay, we're going to hit uh, Control C, Control V again. This time we're going to rotate it. We're going to make sure that it's snapping. Okay, so let's uh, rotate that around. And just to make sure that we're on 90, I'm just going to type in 90. There you go. We're going to grab this guy. We're going to move it. And we're going to align it with this guy. Let's hit uh, seven on our keyboard. We're going to turn on wireframe mode so we can see where we're at. Let's move this out of the way. We're going to move this guy. Let's turn snapping off. We're going to move this guy until it's perfectly aligned. And then we're going to move it over here as well. And let's just have a quick look here to see whether we're aligned properly. That looks right to me. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit mode. We're going to grab the vertices and we're going to move them. So hit the move tool. And again, get in close. Like so. We're going to jump back to object mode. We're going to control C, control V to copy and move that over. And once again, close look to make sure we're aligned that looks good to me and then we need a panel in the middle and for that we can um, use one of these as well or actually put in boards I think that would be even cooler if we can make it fit so let's uh, do control C control V again get it in here like so and this might not work out uh, because I'm just trying to see if we can fit this, all right? And there I have it. Let's do that one more time. And would I be so lucky? It's not perfect, but we can make it work. We'll just take this. So these are all aligned, right? We'll just take this guy. We'll go to edit mode. We'll grab the vertices. Move it up until it's aligned. The same at this end. Grab it in object mode. Go to edit mode. Go to vertex. Drag select. And get in here. And there you have it. All right. So now that we have that, that's basically the top of our table, right? 
looking something like this. Now we need to put on a frame. So first what I need to do is I need to group this together, right? So in object mode, I'm going to select all of it and I'm going to hit control J, right? J as in jam, jelly, June, whatever, right? Okay. So we've got one object. Cool. Alrighty. So now that we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of create a frame to hold the legs. And for that, we just need a simple cube. So I'm going to grab a cube and there it is. And we are going to, um, scale it. So let's, uh, push it in like, so we don't want that much height either. We are going to make it longer. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create it on top later. It's going to go to the bottom, but that's basically identical. So there's no worry there. That's going to be about right. I would say, of course, we're going to make it longer. I don't want to rotate it. I want to make it longer. Okay. So let's uh, do something like this. Let's hit seven on our keyboard and we're going to go over here and look at wireframe mode so we can kind of see how that's uh, aligned. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make sure that this guy is aligned. That should be smack in the middle. And so should this. Let's see, spacing wise, this is not in the middle. So let's bring that in. And let's see. That's a better fit. But of course I shortened it on one side and uh, that's the reason, right? So yeah, we'll do this. Okay. We'll take this guy. We'll hit control C control V. We'll move it over and I'm going to move it to right there. Then hit control C control V again. We're going to rotate it this time. And we're going to go in here and make sure it's exactly 90, right? With the move tool, we're going to bring it in. We're going to get it really close to this guy. Get in here and have a close look. Move it in like so. We're going to go into edit mode. We're going to grab these vertices, align it on this side getting close once again. And if you're wondering how my mouse is doing this, I'm using a space mouse. And if you want to get one for yourself, I'll put a link below. And if you do get one, you'll uh, be supporting the channel with no extra cost to you. So let's see, we're going to move this down. So now we have the overall frame. Okay, so let's go and have a look from this point of view. So that's the bottom frame there. And now, of course, we need a uh, table legs. And for that, again, another cube, add mesh, cube, uh, there you go. We're going to give it some length. Of course, we're going to make it thinner. All right, and they're a bit long. So we're going to move it down. And I'm basically working upside down right now, but hey, you know, this is what it is. So we're going to move this in here. We're going to move it forward and then we're going to move it to this corner. And then let's hit uh, seven on our keyboard turn on our wireframe mode and make sure it's properly set in the middle there like this. And then let's check the height. So we're going to hit three. That's going to be sitting right there. Okay. All right. So we got that now. Um, let's look at the height for a second. 
I think that's about right. So that's okay. We're going to go to object mode once again. Let's go in this mode. We're going to hit uh, control C, control V to copy that. Move it over here. Go to wireframe once again. Get in close and make sure it's positioned correctly. And then we're going to go to seven. So we got these two, we got one here. And we're going to shift click both of them. Control C, Control V. Let's move them to that corner and a little further. All right. So now we have a simple table, right? And there you go. A very simple yet effective table, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, um, yeah, and there you go. There's our table. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button and I'll love to see you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.